Hello guys and welcome back to Via Brie. If you're new here, my name is Sabrina and here we do vlogs. I have a day in the life series, show you behind the scenes of running a business and other like creative tutorials. Today I'll be doing a thrift flip and I'm super excited as I haven't done a thrift flip in over a year. So don't forget to subscribe, it really means a lot. Today we'll be turning this using the inspo from my Pinterest board to something that would be actually on the board. I also forgot to mention we are so, so close to hitting 2K and it wouldn't be for all of you guys here. I wanted to do a little celebratory video in my next one while answering your assumptions and questions and doing a little Q&A. So if you have any assumptions or questions for me, just leave them down in the comments and I'll feature you in my next video. I've actually finished making this piece already and I'll take you guys through the step-by-step -step process of how I did this. The first thing is when picking out the fabric, you want to choose something that you'll actually like regardless of what the type of clothing is. So here I chose a long sleeve shirt and when I was trying it on, it was actually a size 14 for kids and the sleeves were too tight, but that was fine because I wasn't going to use sleeves anyways. And then the first step was trying it on and marking off with a fabric chalk exactly where I wanted to cut it off. So what I did was I cut off the top section of the shirt, including the sleeves and the neckline to reveal like a tube top. And then I did a rolled hem and I pinned it all along the cut edge. A roll time is basically just when you fold fabric in twice. So then you sew along there. Basically all this does is just make sure the fabric doesn't fray and it is good for long-term use. So this is how it looks after you finish pinning it. As you can see, the rolled edge is on the inside and it's all nicely pinned. After I sewed that all the way around, I started cutting the casings for where the strings would pull. So I knew I wanted to create a ruched top. I'm gonna flip this inside out to show you guys. So this is how it actually looks on the inside. So what I did first was I wanted to cut out this panel of fabric from the sleeves. So the first thing I did was measure the length of the top, which was 13 and a half inches. And then I did two inches for the width. And then I made two of these because I knew I wanted the casings on each side. So one here and one here. Here I used a piece of fabric chalk to mark off the two intersections and then using a fabric cutter to cut off the casings. Next thing I did was I used a piece of fabric chalk, honestly you could use any piece of chalk, and mark it down the middle at the one inch width. This gives me a guideline and then I know how to pin these to the edges of the shirt and then start sewing along. After I finished sewing along the middle line, I started sewing along the two edges so the casing is finally finished. For the next part, I needed to make the strings like the tubes, these are the tubes that you can just pull and then it will become ruched. So I need to make the tubes. So what I did was I took the sleeves and I cut out about 20 inches by one and a half inches times four because we need two tubes per casing and there are two casings, so two times two is four. And it's actually great because this material is a little bit stretchy, so it's perfect for this ruched top. So I basically just did a regular stitch all the way down with the good side folded on the inside. This way when we turn inside out, it will be the right side out. I got this kit from Amazon which is called a tube inverter for sewing. It kind of looks like a bubble tea straw with a wooden stick. Basically what it does is it inverts the tube of anything you need to sew right side up. So I'll link those in the description, so go check them out if you would like. You can also do this with a safety pin and just feeding the safety pin through the tube itself and then coming out with the right side out. So after I sewed and inverted the tubes, the four tubes to the right side out, what I did now is I have to put them back into the casing. So how I did this was I actually inserted the same like straw. It's actually like a hard plastic. So I inserted the straw 
into the casings and then I scrunched it up so the entire casing would be would fit on the straw. Next thing I did was I took the tube and I fed it through the straw and then I took the straw out. Make sure to hold like each end so it doesn't get lost inside the casing. So after this, I was able to feed the entire tube through the casing. If you don't have the straw, no worries. You can also use a safety pin and slowly shuffle your way through. So I inserted the tube into each casing four times and then I pulled one of the ends all the way down and then at the top, I just secured it with a pin. After I was done pinning all four sides, I used a zigzag stitch and I sewed a zigzag line connecting the casing to the two tubes in one line. And I did that for this side as well as this side. And then at this point, I tried on the top and it looked like a tube top with ruching and it looked completely fine, but I did not want it to fall down in public just in case, so I added straps. I didn't have enough fabric left over to add sleeves or else I might have done like a short like puff sleeve, but we didn't have enough fabric for that. So I did the exact same process for these straps. So what I did was I took the remaining fabric, which was about like two inches width and then like 15 inches length. And then I sewed them into tubes and inverted them again, exactly like what we did for the tubes for that we put in the casing. So what I did was I took a safety clip and I clipped it to the back sides of where I wanted the strap to start. I tried it on and I played around with where I would like the straps to sit. And once I got that down, I marked it with a little bit of chalk. And then once everything was secure and in place, again, I used a zigzag stitch to secure everything. And that is how I made this too small for me long sleeve children's top into a top that could fit into your Pinterest board. I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's perfect for Valentine's Day which is coming up in a few weeks. And let me know if you guys love this, what you would do differently, or what other types of thrift flips you would like to see. I would love to make this a series. Right now I have the Day in the Life series which I really love and I hope to do more types of series. Again, the main feature of this top is the ruching on the sides, which I really love because you can just tuck the tubes in and keep it as a simple tank top or you could tie it in a bow and ruch them up and then it could be a different style top. So you could really make this into whatever style you'd like. I'll show you guys the final product in the next slide. Also, we are so close to hitting 2k subscribers and it wouldn't be for all of you here and I wanted to do a little celebration video for our next video where maybe I'll be making something and answering your assumptions and doing the maybe Q&A. So if you guys are interested in that, leave them down below in the comments and I'll feature you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!